the broadcasting game. Oh, sure. Having the pitch, FX pitch tracker on there at all times. Yeah, that's a Fox thing. Now. We're, we're okay zone. <laughs> Out. Yeah. 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 Oh, 100%. Um, I think you can overdo it a little bit sometimes with, with the technology, but I think... <laughs> You know, there was a play, and this is a Fox thing, actually. It was in the playoffs in 2012. I think it was Hunter Pence, where the bat hit the ball three times. Do you remember that? That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. And that's the super slow-mo, whatever you call it. That's, uh, that's changed baseball. I mean, obviously, for replay, that's changed baseball. Um, but in terms of how I broadcast the game, yeah, it, it's... It, it's a quick story. So my dad, my first year, I'm at TSN, and I said, "You want to?" They, they took him to at the time it was called Dome Productions, the television studio area, and he saw all the stuff. And then somebody walked him up to the booth for the second inning, and he hung out for an inning. And I said, "You want to hang out here?" He goes, "Can I go back to the production studio? It's kind of cool back there." And I said, "Dad, I'm your son. I'm, what, what are you doing?" You know. So, and but the technology is really great. You've got on a Sunday night game. I think we've got 16 cameras and 12 <laughs> tape machines, and there's all kinds of bells and whistles that you can do, and it, it's really cool. Um, and it does change the way you do a game because you've got people in your ear, producer, director, ISO producer, whatever, saying, you know, we got, we got two looks at the swing by Pedroia, and then we're going to show you the, you know, the play at the wall where the fan <laughs> reached over and then the slide into second base. And you can just do so many things now that you couldn't do. You know, if you ever turn on uh, whatever it's called, ESPN Classic Canada or whatever the channel's called, and you, you know, you're watching a game and there's nothing, and then all of a sudden after the second out you see like New York 6 and Boston 5 taking up the whole screen, and, you, what? and then it goes away, and then you don't know what's going on anymore. And so, but but the, even that's a silly little thing. We call that the bug, okay? Which has, so not only do you have pitch speed and outs and count and score, but now stuff pops up like, you know, Pedroia 6 for his last 11, gone, just like that. So I don't have to worry about I, I, if you actually watch a game, I hardly talk numbers at all. It's all right there. And, and, and that kind of frees me up to just be more conversational. And uh, I always thought the best baseball game sounds like two guys sitting at a bar watching a baseball game, talking like that. And that's, that's what I try to do, actually. So, yeah. We read them off the screen for the radio people. <laughs> actually, one of the first pieces of advice Dan ever gave me when I started into the play-by-play -play is be the bug on the radio. Yeah, you gotta, be the yeah, bug. yeah, and that's the funny thing. On the radio, it's the opposite. You can give the score and the count 20 times in a half inning, and somebody will tweet at you, I didn't know what the hell was going on in the game. Which is why those Blue Jays simulcast spring training games, I understand, they're very went hard. over so well yeah, for the radio audience. Yeah, and radio, you have to do it over and over and over. And they're different, they're enjoyable in different ways, really. So.